the the best time to work in Alzheimer's research, in my opinion, is now. And I'm so grateful. I mean, there's been incredible advances in the last decade um, in terms of more accessible biomarkers. For Alzheimer's, the pathology occurs, you know, as early as even, you know, 15 years before the onset of symptoms. And we now have biomarkers that are able to detect these brain abnormalities using a simple blood test. Advances in the field like this offer the opportunity to prevent Alzheimer's progression. But there are concerns that not everyone is getting access to all the developments that are occurring in the field. There are some um, low middle income settings that we're, miss that we're missing out on this opportunity um, for preventing cognitive impairment and dementia. The World Health Organization estimates that over 60% of those with dementia live in low and middle income countries. And this will only increase. Population aging is triggering this rise in um, incident dementia, but very little is being done in these regions. To fill this gap, Chi is starting a study called Africa Fingers. It's based on a previous large randomized trial known as the Finger Study. That study showed that targeting specific factors like activity levels, diet and cardiovascular health by encouraging people to take part in exercise and other activities can actually improve cognition. In Africa Fingers, Chi wants to find the best interventions for the region. Here to understand the impact of these interventions, biomarkers alongside cognitive tests will be used to detect and monitor any potential signs. Of Alzheimer's. The key objectives, I guess, are to co-create an intervention protocol that has a lot of potential for being sustainable and um, for better adherence um, for, for the participants. And then, of course, we want to test the effectiveness of this multimodal um, intervention, you know, adapting the finger model to the African context, but also addressing critical factors that we're identifying as being important for the region. To make sure people really keep up with these interventions, Chi believes it's really important to engage with the community in the study design, to come up with activities that really work in these specific cultural settings. You know, to ensure better adherence, we're doing traditional movement exercises, we're incorporating a lot of traditional music, but also ensuring that we're developing movement strategies that are due to some of the WHO recommendations, for instance, for physical activity. To really make interventions that will work to tackle Alzheimer's, there also are specific challenges that need to be considered in the parts of Africa that Chi and the team are working in. Africa Fingers is being conducted across four sites in two countries, um, two of which are rural, two of which are urban. And so you can imagine in the rural areas, there'll be a lot of challenges with regards to infrastructure to actually do research. So even things as simple as blood sample collection, right? In terms of transportation to attend the research sites, we're working with people who live sometimes less than a dollar a day, really, really poor communities. And so um, we've had to really go to the draw back to the drawing board to think about um, ways by which we can collect samples because we want to do cutting edge research here. Um, so we're adopting novel technologies like, um, you know, finger prick, blood sample collection. Currently, Chi and her collaborators are still designing the intervention protocol with the local communities. But she hopes that this and other studies like it will pave the way towards equity in Alzheimer's treatment. I think that everybody deserves to age well. And so for me, equity refers to providing tools and developing strategies where people can have successful and sustainable brain aging. By ensuring that we have biomarkers that are available and accessible to the majority of global populations, I think that we can start to really democratize access to these to, to a diagnosis and in that way um, 
of course, allowing the potential for prevention. It's such a great time to be in Alzheimer's research because of the hope it finally gives to patients who, you know, um, you know, previously had very limited um, hope or things to look forward to.